Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisette and today I've got another video for you regarding the Josephine wall. We're going to seal this baby and in order to seal it I'm outside so if you hear some birds chirping and things like that, that's normal. Um, I finished my Josephine wall as you have seen in an earlier update and now I'm going to seal it and in order to seal it I'm using Mod Podge and I'm using this one there are a lot of sealing products but this was the one that I chose and do you need to seal this painting I don't know uh, because it's my first diamond painting Deutschland but I want to frame this one I'm going to show you that as well probably next week but just to be sh on the safe side I'm going to seal it with this. So what do you need if you want to seal? Of course you need a sealing product, a little bowl, a brush, a cloth and a little spoon for measurement and water. So if you open this up, so right out of the pot, it's really thick. I'm going to make it a little thinner by adding a little water. So I'm taking, just for measurement's sake, one spoon of this, so a full spoon, and then one spoon of water. So let me show you. So I do like this. One. and then one two of water and then I just mix it a little bit and it just makes it a little thinner guys look right now it's like this you see I'll bring you up close so you can see what I'm doing, just like this, and then and just make sure that you get everything and you see and yes I'm going over the washi tape as well And I'll show you up close as well. You see me just going back and forth, just making sure that it's in there. And you see you see those little bubbles over here? No worries, no worries. Okay, and we're working by section, guys. So I'm just, oh, okay. And then what do I do? You see, and then I just go over it like this to make sure that the top of the drills is cleaned and you can see it's all in between look you can see it's in between but this part hasn't been done yet do you see the difference between oh sorry I'm shaking you see the difference between this 
and this so you just need to clean up the excess because we want our drills to remain shiny so I'm going to continue for the entire thing like this and I'll make a time lapse for you so you can follow along just let this dry out it's just a precaution I don't know if you need to seal the diamond painting Deutschland Josephine wall but I want to frame this one and it needs to be able to bend so that's why I chose to uh, make the glue less solid that's why I added some water and uh, well guys I'm not worried about the shine at all uh, I just think it's important that you take off that you clean the drills with a damp cloth afterwards and you do that very thoroughly like I do so guys that's how I seal my diamond painting right guys do you use this as well uh, do you seal your diamond painting I don't seal my diamond paintings guys this is the first time that I'm sealing one just as a precaution as I said and um, well I liked working with this it's really easy to use um, just let me know what you think do you seal your diamond paintings do you use this product or maybe another product let me know in the comments below the product information um, is also in the description below, as is the information about this beautiful diamond painting. And guys, I hope you will watch next week, because then I'm going to be framing her. And, well, maybe if you've got your own Josephine wall and you're like, okay, how on earth am I going to do that? Well, let me show you. So guys... Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new here and you like to see more of these kinds of videos, consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a follower. Okay, guys, I'm going to hang this one on clothes hangers to let her dry. And then on to the next phase. The actual framing. Right, guys? Have a nice week. Hope to see you soon. Bye. You see the glue? It is Ooh. thick. Ooh. <laughs> okay, right?